Hey guys, Karex here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Yokai Watch Fumi Chan version from Yokai Watch. This is the version of the Yokai Watch used by the female player character Fumika, aka Katie, in the video games. This set includes a few things the Yokai Watch itself, a neck strap, and two Yokai medals. So, let's get started. First up, let's take a look at the watch itself. So, this version of the Yokai Watch is a pocket watch rather than a wrist watch. Meaning, that has no kind of wrist strap and it has a more compact design. Or a more handheld design, rather. You see that the Yokai lens has a unique cover design, which is done up in a, a kind of a pearlescent pale pink color, with a pair of will o wisps on the sides, and then a couple of red hearts on the top and bottom. See on the inside though that the serial design is the same as the uh, wristwatch version. It also has uh, the clip for the neck strap, which can rotate around like so. The button is right here, flips up to reveal a uh, pearlescent pale pink rim for the metal slot, as well as some red dots and uh, pink swirls as the uh, kind of time indicators. We have the uh, on-off switch on the side, the speaker on the back, and as well as the battery cover, and this includes three uh, bunch of batteries. We have the wrist strap, which is a nice metallic blue color. It's adjustable right here, and you can unclip it just like that to put it on. Attached on this carabiner, so you can just take it and clip it onto the watch, like so. And then wear it around your neck. Next, we have the two included Yokai medals, which are the Gonyan medal and the Warunyan medal. So first up, we have the Gonyan medal, which is a hollow. And Gonyan aka Golden Yan, is a, a Goketsu tribe yokai who is a golden version of Robonyan. Then we have the Waranyan Mel, which is a normal one. Waranyan, aka Badinyan, is a Pariki tribe yokai who is one of the two evolutions of Gibanyan. And while it might look like he's got a couple of cigars in his mouth, those are really just taco bars. Next, we'll test out the electronics. So, first up, you're going to want to switch it on with the on-off switch right here. It'll make the same sound as the one that may happens when you turn on the original Yokai Watch. And in fact, the sound card from that one was basically just ripped out of there and put into this new body. So it can read all the same metals as that one. And it pretty much makes the same sounds. The first feature is that, like with the original, you can open up the Yokai lens and press and hold the button to activate the Yokai searchlight. Though, from what I can tell, instead of using a black light for the Yokai searchlight, they instead replace it with a blue LED, similar to the Type 0 key. Next up, you can use it to summon Yokai. And, like all the others, you just take the metal and place it in. And you can press the button to make it repeat its name again. And if you put in the metal the wrong way, it'll still say. Just like so. And then we can summon Warunyan. Just like that. Warunyan. 
And just for the sake of being thorough, I'll also show off one medal from each of the other tribes, as well as a legend medal. So, first up we have the Isamashi tribe Benkei. Then the Fushigi tribe Suzukana So. <laughs> Next, the Poka Poka tribe Tsumami Guinosuke. Then the Usurakage tribe, Debi Biru. Then the Bukimi tribe, Onarazu Mono. Then the Nyororon tribe Udazukai. And finally the legend Yokai Hanasakaji. And there we go. So overall, while I can appreciate the fact that this was made, I do have some mixed feelings on it. The first is I feel that the design and general color scheme perhaps tries to pander a little bit too much to girls, which I find a little bit odd, especially considering that the original version of the Yokai Watch to me has a very gender neutral design, so it doesn't really feel like there needs to be a version for girls, or a version that's targeted towards girls. And the second is that this really has more of a meaning for people who've played the games as Fumi-chan or Katie than it does to fans of the anime, because this actually only showed up in one episode, which was a what-if scenario for if Fumi-chan got the Yokai Watch instead of Keita, and she had these exact two medals. So it really felt that like that episode was just made to market this version of the watch. That being said, I don't know if there are any plans to bring this over to the United States. Since the UI Watch toy line over here does seem like it's marketed a lot towards boys, and I don't know if Bande, or rather Hasbro, would want to go out of their way to release this version for girls. So, I'd say that this is not necessarily a thing you need to pick up if you already have the original Yokai Watch, unless you really like this design or you're a fan of K slash Fumi-chan. And this is just kind of a thing where you could, uh, you know, kind of take or leave it, depending on uh, how you feel about it. But if you're the kind of person who wants to have a version of the watch, then this is one you might want to pick up just for collector's sakes and in case this isn't released over here. So, next time I'll be doing another episode of Two Toy Theory and be taking a look at Gaim's Jinba forms. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe and you can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash krx50. And for now, this is krx50, riding off.